And more breaking news tonight in the Amber Alert for three-year-old Noah Claire. The search continues for the Gallatin boy, along with his father, Jacob, and cousin, Amber. TBI has released new surveillance photos of the three in California. These were taken in San Clemente on November 11th. You can see Jake and the Amber Alert. We're going to show you those pictures. You can see them carrying large backpacks when you see those pictures. Agents say the Subaru Legacy they believe Jake was driving was impounded two days earlier or and two days later. Now, the TBI says that Jake bought that vehicle on Facebook Marketplace on October 30th. California has now put out an endangered child alert for Noah. Beaver Dam, Kentucky police have listed Amber as a missing endangered person. California Highway Patrol believe Jacob Claire to be armed and dangerous. And tonight, we are hearing for the first time from Jacob player's mother who was pleading for her son to return home with her two grandchildren. News Force Courtney Allen sat down with her today in Bowling Green and Courtney how is she doing? Yeah Marius Tracy that is the very first question I asked Bonnie Kirpata and she immediately broke down in tears. It's obvious that this is taking a toll on both sides of the family. Kirpata says Jake was the best dad to Noah up until this point and she's begging him to do the right. I would say I love you because I love all my kids no matter what. But this isn't right. A mother's plea. I just need him to bring him home. It's tearing everybody apart. Bonnie Kirpata is Jake Claire's mom. I love my son. This was not the way. This was not the way. Because I love my grandbabies more. Kirpata says the past week and a half has been excruciating for the family. After police say Jake is believed to have taken off with her two grandchildren, three-year-old Noah and 16-year-old Amber. Do you have any indication, you know your son, of where they, where they could be? I thought I knew my son. <laughs> I have no idea. Kirpata says Jake was distraught about not having more time with Noah, his son. Noah's mother lives in Gallatin, and Kirpata says Jake has been trying to get overnight stays with Noah after only having day visits with him. A few months ago, Kirpata says Jake got a trailer and was then allowed to have Noah come stay every other weekend. Kirpata believes the alleged kidnapping was planned for some time. Before moving into the trailer, Kirpata says Jake was staying with his niece, Amber's family. Kirpata says there are concerns about Jake and Amber's relationship. There's been talk of inappropriateness. And of course, as a mom, I pray that's not true, but we don't know. And there were things that seemed inappropriate. Kirpata says she wants her grandchildren back. Amber and Noah are not old enough and mature enough to make a decision to live on the run, that's your choice, and it's not right. I love you, but you've got to bring them babies home. Now, other family members of Noah have said that Jake was suicidal and mentally unstable. Kirpata says to her knowledge, Jake was not. She says, in fact, he seemed happier than usual in the past two to three weeks. Back. Okay, now we have happy news. I played that for a reason. Um, hang on. Oh, man, there's no video. All right. So they have been found safe. Hey, pretty. Hey, Alicia. Hey, Kay. Yeah, they have been found safe. They, it's been reported that they were found exactly where they thought they were. Uh, Noah and Claire have been found safe and sound just outside of San Clemente, California. Tennessee Bureau of Investigation reported that Noah and Amber and Claire have been found safe. Um, we're sharing this to give our best guess at what they, oh, that was older. But yeah, they are found safe. I was looking for a video and there was none. Let me see if TBI has a video. Mm, no, it's just saying more detail soon. But Jake is in jail. And...
Okay, so they had found there was surveillance video of them. That's how they were found. Yeah, I got pics, but I was looking for a video of it. And there's no video of it. But they were found safe and sound. And they were taken by a surveillance camera in San Clemente, California on November 11th. So they knew where to look for them, but they found them. Hip hip hooray. So they're in custody of, you know, like a home or whatever, but Jake is in jail. Thank God. And that's where he belongs, prison. Okay. Also in TBI. There was another undercover operation for human trafficking, and it resulted in 12 people arrested um, in Chattanooga. Human Trafficking Unit, Chattanooga Police Department, Homeland Security Investigations, and Tennessee Human Trafficking Task Force has resulted in the arrest of 11 men accusing of seeking illicit sex from minors and one woman charged with promoting prostitution. Over a two-day period, beginning on November 10th, as part of the investigation aimed at addressing human trafficking in the East Tennessee area, which is exactly where uh, uh, summer is, uh, undercover officers placed several decoy advertisements on websites known to be linked to prostitution and commercial sex. Focus on the operation was to identify individuals seeking to engage in commercial sex acts with minors. As a result of the operation, agents and detectives arrested 11 men and one female and booked them into Hamilton County Jail. So who was arrested? We got Tom Timothy Berger, date of birth 8-4-1980, from... Ultiwa, one count of solicitation of a minor, one count of trafficking for a commercial sex act. Mike Chen, born 51069 from Rossville, Georgia, one count of solicitation of a minor, one count trafficking of a commercial sex act. Related with those four guys a week or so ago? Huh? Oh, I don't know. George Michael McCaw, born 11-25-67, Clarksville, Georgia, one count of solicitation of a minor, one count of trafficking for a commercial sex act. John D. Lorenzo, 10-16-1987, Sadi Daisy, one count of solicitation of a minor, one count of trafficking for a commercial sex acts, one count of simple possession of scheduled narcotics. Jonathan Brent Gizzard, date of birth, 12-10-1981. Harrison, <clears throat> one count solicitation of a minor, one count trafficking for a commercial sex act. Thomas Aluo, Germer Sedino, born 4-17-1990. Chicago, Illinois, one count solicitation of a minor, one count trafficking for a commercial sex act, one count resisting stop arrest. Vitan, 1010 1987 from Hickson, one count solicitation of a minor, one count trafficking for a commercial sex act. Carrie Lamar Williams, date of birth 3790. Hickson, one count solicitation of a minor, one count trafficking for a commercial sex act, one count of possession schedule narcotic for resale, one count driving on suspended license. Contreras Ramirez, date of birth, 3373, from Cartsville, Georgia, one count solicitation of a minor, one count trafficking for a commercial sex act. James M. Walters, date of birth, 41456, from, also from Hickson, one count solicitation of a minor, one count trafficking for a commercial sex act. Jason A. Pastor, 125-1996, from Cookville, one count solicitation of a minor, one count trafficking for a commercial sex act. Shamitra Kayanta McKinney, 12496, Chattanooga, one count promotion of prostitution, one count simple possession, schedule narcotic. Part of the operation also focused on identifying potential victims of trafficking, one adult woman 
accepted services offered by Willow Bend Farms, a nonprofit program that helps survivors of human trafficking, and on site during the operation, the Community Coalition Against Human Trafficking. You want to see what these scumbags look like? Here we go. Oh. All right. Hold on. This is why I hate stream yards. All right. We got Timothy Berger, uh, Mike Chen, George McCaw, John DiLorenzo, Jonathan Gizzard, Thomas Gumercindo, Boy Tan, Carrie Williams. Contreras Ramirez, James Walters, Jason Pastor, and Shimitra McKinney. Every single one of them. Now, the scary part is, this guy looks creepy. This guy looks kind of creepy. This guy looks like your boy next door. This guy looks like just a doper. This guy looks like he's a professor. This guy's creepy. This guy uh, could go either way. You just never know. Oh, this guy looks like he's a professor. It's crazy. There's another four men arrested in Sullivan County for human trafficking. Matthew David Bailey, same charges. Kenneth Katowski from Bristol. All these guys are sick. Oh, these are the same guys. All right. What is wrong with these people? My God. Stop wanting to have sex with minors. There it is. And no Claire and Amber Claire have been found safe. Jake is in custody. And that's how they got caught. They were caught on surveillance. Crazy. Four men arrested in Blountville, Tennessee on November 9th. It was about 15 miles from the west. Yes, that's the one I just went through. I did. I covered that a little while ago. I don't mean today. I mean like in the past. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. They both have their hair cut. Exactly. And his hair was so cute. Yeah, I guess he cut their hair. But I'm glad they were found safe. You know what? Rap view. If you don't trust the government, what? Who are you gonna trust? If you don't trust the government, then move to another country. I mean, really, that's the only answer. People that say, "Oh, I hate the president," okay, then move. I mean, plain and simple. Yeah, he's adorable. It is good news. Amy, your candles went out. By the way. Um, and that's it. That's really all I got for you guys. Nice, quick, and easy live. I got so much to do today.
So since I was covering this case, I have not even called Molly. I woke up 15 minutes ago to a text from her and a big fucking nightmare. And I just went live real quick because I have to go to uh, somewhere today in a little while. I'm just waiting for my phone to charge more. But today, because Molly had introduced this case to everybody, today Molly's candle is on sale. I have to change the price. But Molly's candle is going to be on sale all day for $20. I am going to do that now. Hold on. Um... Yeah, they were found in San Clemente, California, right where they were caught on video. Um, hold on. Oh, and let me put this out there for those of you, because I see I got another couple of orders with lilac. I am out of lilac, so I have to order some. So candles with lilac, I didn't realize how many people like lilac because nobody ever ordered lilac before the last week. Now everybody wants lilac. I have like so many orders for lilac. I don't even know why. So I just thought it was funny. I'm like, watch, last night's orders are going to be lilac. Sure enough, a few of them are lilac. Um, and for those of you that did order lilac, I'm going to send you an email. See if you want to wait or you want to change a scent. Um, hold on, products. I can't believe all of a sudden I'm out of lilac. All right. Uh, all right. So your favorite YouTuber is going back up. To 25. And Molly Candle. Is going on sale. So Molly's candle all day will be twenty dollars. So if anybody wants a Molly Go Lightly channel, uh, Molly Go Lightly candle, it is on sale for twenty dollars. I have to let her know too. Just no lilac. If you got lilac, I can't bring it before Thanksgiving. So that is that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you guys before I have to go do what I got to do. Um... I don't know. You guys have any questions? Questions, comments, concerns, love, hate. Bring it on. Questions about candles, questions about life. Um, you're welcome, unlabeled. Do you think LSD should be legal? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's not his last one, peekaboo. Unfortunately, it's going to be another two months 
And then he has, they say for about a year. He's going to have to go on and off for a year, but he still has more physical therapy. He's got another two months of physical therapy. Shit is never ending. He still can't walk right. He did get his permit though. Do you have a video of wrapping up what you think went on? Uh, I have tons of them. I know it's hard to find, but if you, you know, what's interesting, Mama Rocks, if you go to um, videos before Kathleen Zellner even came on the case, I had already pegged um, Bobby and Scott as being the guilty ones before Zellner even came on the case. Those videos are interesting to watch. Because some of it is almost like Zellner took my information and used it. No joke. And if you watch the video, you'll see what I mean. But I do have video saying this is what I think happened. That was long before anybody came on the case. And honestly, my views really haven't changed much. Thank you, Marisa. Um, yes, there's playlist. But you know what the problem is, Marisa? I do try to answer all questions, but it ends up hurting me in the end. And honestly, it does. Because all these other people that don't and only answer super chats get super chats because people want to be acknowledged. I get screwed. I mean, honestly, I hate to say it, but it's true. I see big channels charge $25 to even get a question answered. I feel like a lot of big true crime channels just repeat the observations of smaller ones, hoping no one notices because I've heard things you have said be repeated by more prominent creators. Oh, really? Because I'm a smart motherfucker. <laughs> and I don't get the credit that I deserve, period. I should have 100,000 people. I really should. I should have 100,000 followers. Easy. And I don't, but I did find my juice last night. I was very excited. Um, it is, it's very frustrating. But when Zellner put out, when Zellner put out, uh, that Bobby was guilty, I was like, bitch, you're like two years behind. I had this shit done two fucking years ago. Come on now. I would never pay to ask a question. Yeah, but you're a Patreon. You're a little different. But like Popcorn Planet has like 250,000 subscribers. They won't even acknowledge you without a super chat. Like literally, they will not acknowledge you. Thank you, Marisa. And I agree with you. I would never pay to ask a question either. But that's how these people do it. That's kind of what Katie's role model is. Is that she won't, unless you super chat her, she won't acknowledge you. I know you, I don't go to places like that either, but a lot of people do. It's insane. I would think it would be the opposite. Acknowledge people and you'll grow, you know, like that's where people want to grow. But no, it's, it doesn't work like that. It actually works the opposite. I said I'm going to do that one day. I'm going to not answer any questions unless they super chat. Then I'm like, who am I kidding? I can't do that. I like fucking stare at chat. Even when I'm on a, somebody else's panel, I stare at chat. It's just a thing with me. I don't know. I just can't help it. 
when I'm on my cell phone, it's different. But when I'm sitting in front of my computer, I can't help it. Jay, my thing is, as long as people buy candles, I, I don't care if they super chat. I'd rather get candle money. Candle money, honey. I totally agree, Denise. You should always speak to your subscriber friends. It feels welcoming and nice. I agree. It's like the boy in high school that pays you no mind. I would know. That's what I'm saying. This is YouTube. I mean, I could see if you have 10,000 people in your chat. You know, you have to be careful who you're talking to. I totally get that. Or you acknowledge members more. But my feeling is what's going to make somebody become a member when you acknowledge them, when you're good to them, when you're good to your chat, that's going to make people want to become a member. So to me, you, you got to kind of be nicer to subs than anybody. So you know what I mean? Thanks, Marisa, because that's how I am. I would rather people buy candles and super chat me anyway. But as long as, you know, once ha as long as people buy candles, I'm good. Super chats are not so good because YouTube takes most of it. They do take a lot of it. They absolutely do. We have the best Outback readers. We do. That we do. So, but I mean, honestly, if someone's iffy about me, they want to support me, definitely buy candles. You know, that's my thing. I would rather you get something for it than just super jack. You know what I mean? But you still got to do members and super chat to keep you two happy. Because if you don't, if you don't continue to grow, then why did it keep you monetized? That's why I think a lot of people get demonetized for the most part, is because they're not growing. So you got to keep a certain level of growth, which I keep growing. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I'm like, I don't even see any super chat. Then I'll look and I'll see, how did I make so much money this month? So it just happens. You don't even realize it. So as long as I grow, I'm all right. Because I feel more of a friendship and not just, see, there you go, Denise. That was my whole goal of coming on YouTube when I started going live is that I wanted a personable channel. I, I saw all these big YouTube, you know, in the gaming community that never did anything for their subs and they would ignore their subs and they wouldn't acknowledge the comments. And it was just ridiculous. And I'm like, you know, I will never be that kind of YouTuber ever. It just won't happen. I will. I don't care if I have a hundred thousand people in my chat, you slow it down, you make it happen. I mean, not every single video. I agree, Bayside. I just don't th get the connection. I definitely won't buy from them. Or at Bayside, I totally agree. That's why I did start showing my face more. Right now, I'm looking kind of rough. But I'm going to get a candle, commemorate one of my fallen friends. I do memorial candles. Bless this mess, bought a few. She was my first uh, memorial candle. And they're very happy with them. I was nervous about it. <laughs> I said, like, I don't know how to do it. I'll make it happen, though. Um, and what's that? Mom's coming in three days. Nothing is ready. I am not prepared at all. I have to do major fucking cleaning. Major reorg, not so much cleaning, but reorganizing. I told the kids, you got to get your rooms clean. Grandma's coming for the week. Thank you, Jay. And that's it. Any questions? And for those of you, I know, Denise, it sucks. For those of you that have been following all the drama, I know some of you guys don't know any of the drama, but some of you guys following the drama and all the bullshit that's happening 
in the last couple of days. I want you guys to know that I'm taking care of it legally. Um, you guys don't have to worry about sending me screenshots or anything else. I'm going to be handling it legally. Uh, it's straight up defamation and enough is enough. So that's actually where I'm heading after this live. Um, because I think it's pretty obvious who my CPS caller is and all the shit that's following. So I am handling it legally. So I won't be discussing it on YouTube, but I just want to let you guys know I'm not sitting back and ignoring it. And I'm not, um, I'm just not, I'm not just letting it slide. So I know a lot of people have come to me. A lot of people have sent me links and I just want you guys to know that I'm handling it. No drama for me. Yeah. I'm not, I can't address it here. I just can't. So, cause I don't, you know, when it comes to, there's one thing about going legal, you never say anything because you never want to let them know. So I will not be handling it. Oh, I'm good. I'm glad Pearl. So I, but I just want everyone to know I am handling it. I agree, Denise. And the, one of the people that I believe is doing it is, is insane. Absolutely insane. Hey, Bobby pin and just defamation at its finest. So like I said, I am handling it legally. I'm heading over to PD now to speak to them and show them the latest and then to a lawyer and that's it. So we're going to nip this in the bud. It's all going to be done very shortly. Um, and that's it. Let them deal with it. I don't need to deal with this bullshit. So that's where it's at. So like I said, I'm just telling you guys that so you don't think I'm just ignoring it. But I'm just, I'm over this. Absolutely over this. It just keeps getting worse. So... But I am glad we've, we've really found out who my CPS caller in the last two were. My instinct was right. It was exactly who I thought it was. That's what I'm hoping for, Denise. Honestly, I'm hoping that this goes to court. I'm hoping that someone gets arrested and I'm hoping this ends. Like, And it's a good lesson taught. So, And some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Some of you guys don't. But enough is enough. I'm over it. You, you just can't put this shit out on the internet full of lies and expect nothing to happen. You, you just can't do it. You know, you can, but you're going to have consequences. No, perp. Don't say, I'm not saying who. I mean, you know who, but I'm not saying who. But you just can't put shit like this out on the internet. Right? You just can't. And expect nothing legal to happen from it. I, it's just lie after lie after lie after lie. And I just over it. So I handle it the right way. I don't know a little from what I've heard you say. I won't watch anyone. Thank you, Denise. We were talking about that last night. That's what I was saying. I don't know if you were on Molly's live. I didn't mean to go with Grady Gabby the way I did. But when she said it, I just kind of twisted me. But yeah, you know, people that trash me or and just don't even give them a view because that's what feeds them. As long as you're giving them a view, then it's perfectly OK. And, you know, they think it's OK. Let's keep doing it. We're making money. We're doing this. We're doing that. And they just seem to think it's OK. And it's not. You can't defame somebody. If you just can't. I mean, the shit that I've heard about myself is comical. But okay, carry on. And then, you know, oh, we have proof of this. No, you don't. You can't have proof of something that doesn't exist. But carry on. I feel a lot of creators are going to start taking some action. And I hope they do. I agree. I mean, people go after it, it. What happened today or what I got today, Jay, is criminal. Is 100% criminal. Um, If people can sue... Uh, uh, what's a, without a crystal ball over defamation, then they certainly can now too. Then I certainly can sue for defamation. They are safe. 
No, no, no. Two totally different. We're talking about two different things, Danny. We're, we're done. We stopped talking about that case a while ago. But yes, they were found safe and sound. Um, and yeah, if they, if without a crystal ball can get sued for defamation, then I have a bigger case than any of the people suing her. I mean, I got CPS calls and everything that can easily be linked to one person. Now, if we could just find Summer. Yeah, I was thinking about Summer last night. After my live ended, my live is members only, by the way, because I played Chris and I don't want Chris to strike me. They're trying to traumatize your kids and ruin your business. They deserve to be held accountable. Absolutely. But this latest one is pure defamation and pure lies. Not even my business, just me as a person. And you just can't go around lying about people like this. You just can't. Um, you can't create lies in your own mind and put it on the internet and think it's okay. That's defamation at its finest. May the purple force be with you. But you just can't. Like, that's what I think they were going after Katie for was um, Katie without a crystal ball, Katie, that she was putting stuff out there just for views and she would make up lies about certain people and put it out there. And that's why she's getting sued. Mine's 10 times worse. The shit that these people, that certain people are coming up with are just mind blowing. And the funny thing is, and I'm glad they put this in chat last night. Someone put in chat last night, the name of, um, somebody in CPS. Well, the only person that would ever know that is the caller. So that caller was then linked back to a video this morning. So, I mean, at least now we know who did it. Hey, White Lotus, at least now we know who did it. So I'm happy about that. Thank you, Jay. You know, that was all I needed. Like, absolutely all I needed for to prove it was her. Now, could there be other ones? Yeah, they could. But the fact she knew who the CPS worker was, yeah, that spoke volumes. No, oh, one of them. Line up by exactly Christmas coming. Maybe the Zodiac killer. Nope. Just some real psycho. Thanks, Lady Montgomery. But I just, it's scary scary that people do this on the internet and think it's okay. Yeah, it's, you just don't do that. You did like the thing is you just can't get away with that. You can't just get away with trashing someone's name like that with made up imaginary stuff in your head that's not even true. You, you just can't get away with it. Sorry. Um, and some of the other lies that were also in this video were comical because these departments don't even exist, but carry on. And maybe the impersonation of Alabama law enforcement will cause them to finally do something. You know? So that's it. Um, there has to be accountability for these actions. I totally agree. Purple one. Totally agree. Absolutely has to be. And maybe then it will stop. So that'd be that. All right. I'm out. I think my phone is charged enough. I'm heading down to my PD and I will, that's it. It's the last I'm going to speak on the matter um, publicly because I don't have a choice. But make sure you guys buy your candles. I am going to be doing an obsession candle for all of these people that are obsessed. I think it's going to be pull up. Um, 
as a, I don't want to do pull up jewels candle, but we're going to do maybe like a pull up obsession candle, a something like that. We're going to have fun with it. Just like I did a burnt toast candle, which is still not on the website, but I'm going to do a whole line of funny candles for the, those that are obsessed with me in my life. And we're going to do a whole line of those that are going to be separate from my regular candles. And they're going to be in their own group. And I'm just going to do candles for all of them. We're going to have another scammer candle. And we're going to have an obsession candle. And we're going to have a pull up jewels candle and a fake candle. And not like actually fake, but labels are going to be fun. Now, the candle quality itself is all going to be the same. But the labels, we're going to have some fun with labels. So if you're into the sarcasm stuff, you're into um, funny candles, you're into curse word candles, that's what this line's going to be. So I haven't set it up yet. Honestly, I'm not even sure when I'm going to have time to do it. Sometime next week, probably. <clears throat> but I still got to get my Etsy store up. I got so much to do. And I have tons of orders to fill. But I don't mind filling orders. The more orders that come in, the better. We can do a fake husband candle. We can do a lot of stuff. Um, you need drama queen candles. Exactly. We're going to have drama queen candles. Funny candles with bad words will sell. They absolutely do. Pull up Rikers. That perfect, perfect, perfect purple one. Pull up Rikers. Love it. Love it. So um, we're going to get creative. We're going to have some fun with it. And that's it. So on that note, I am out and I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget Intrepid Candles. Oh, by the way, by the way, for those of you, I forgot to tell everybody this. I did this last night. There is a new link that will get you to the candles. Very simply, Luxury Candles NYC. A lot of people wondering why I chose NYC because it sounds a lot better than um, AL or BAMA. So being that I'm from New York, I just did Luxury Candles NYC. I haven't even checked it to see if it works. So let's see. Luxury Candles NYC.com. And it works. So instead of having to remember anything, you just do Luxury Candles NYC. Easy, easy breezy. Can't forget it. And... Um, easy to remember, easy to spell, but yeah, that's why I did NYC. So that's it. I totally forgot about that. I did that last night because a lot of people like Intrepid Candle, CO, they get confused. So I just, you know, I needed something short, easy, branded. So Luxury Candles NYC. I'm actually surprised it wasn't taken, but it wasn't. So luxurycandlesnyc.com, always remember it, and that's it. So I will see you guys later. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And this was just a nice little fun live. I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. And Patreons, I'll let you know what happens after. I will see you guys later. Peace.